One of the best features of Logic Pro for iPad is the stereo out and the master track. But what do they do? Why are they so cool? And how do you use them? That's what we're going to cover in this video. Let's go. Now, if like me, you've come from GarageBand iOS, one of the biggest frustrations we had was while you could control the individual track volume, there was no way to control the volume of your entire project. So here in Logic Pro, we have the ability to do that. Now, there were ways around this in GarageBand and there's videos linked down in the description showing you how but the fact that we have a stereo out and a master volume that controls both the stereo out and all of these tracks is a bit of a game changer let's dive in and show you how it all works now, when you're in your main view here in Logic Pro, you might be thinking, hey, where is my master track? Well, you need to actually display it first. To do that, we tap on the more button here, these three dots, and we tap on show output track. And that will add this at the very bottom, the pink stereo out track. It'll be the last track in our chain. We can also access it by tapping on the mixer icon or hitting the X key as your shortcut. And there it is, the stereo out. Now, the main difference between the stereo out and the master is the master controls everything everything, including the stereo out, whereas the stereo out is usually the stereo output of either your iPad, your headphones, or your audio interface. And if you want to just adjust the overall volume of everything, you can grab the master. But the stereo out track actually has some cool features that we're going to show you now. So the number one cool feature of the stereo out track is simply controlling our overall volume. So if I hit play here on my project. Sometimes I'm angry that I can drop down the volume of my overall project. Now it's going to tell me down here, I'll just turn that all the way down, it's going to tell me here the volume, but it's also got this, which is my clip indicator. So this is great because it will show me how loud the overall mix is. Now if that's in the green or the orange or yellow, you're okay. As soon as you see any red there, you know that something is wrong. So just to show you what not to do, let's turn the stereo out volume up too loud and show you what a clip will look like. Just need one moment. There you go. You can see there that we've got the red. It's got 2.9. So we've gone into the plus. We've gone over 0 dB, which is going to clip our master bus, which is not going to sound good. So the combination of being able to adjust your volume of your stereo out there and having your clip light there, the indicator that pops on, is a super handy feature here in Logic Pro for iPad. The second cool thing about the stereo out channel is that we can use it to add plugins. So if we scroll up here, you'll notice that we already have a limiter, a compressor and a tube EQ. Now we can tap on these and show the details if we want to see what these are doing or we can just use the plugins button down here to bring up all of them. We've got quick access just like we do on all of our other channels to make quick adjustments there or if we wanted to tweak this compressor we just double tap and it's going to open up there in a full view. So this gives us control over the master track. Being able to put a limiter on your master bus means that you can avoid clipping, you can get a really good mix and you can basically master to your track right here in Logic Pro for iPad on your main project. And as I mentioned before, if you add your stereo out to your main window here, you can even view those master track plugins right here. You can even turn them off and on and make all your adjustments right here on the main window. So you've set all of your levels. You've made sure your stereo output isn't clipping. If you have a clip, just tap on that one to get rid of the red light there. And now you're ready to export. There's one more setting related to the master track that is a huge advantage, especially for GarageBand users. Let's take a look at that one. When we go to export our track, we're going to tap on the top left on the name of the project and hit export. Here is where we can export our file and export our final master or our final mix. But take a look at this one here, the processing details, because if we tap on that one, you want to pay attention to this. You've probably heard me rant about auto normalization, which is what GarageBand uses to bring the levels either up or down to zero dB. Now, that's great if you don't want to master your track but it's not so great if you want to use that for mastering or for some other function. So if we want to make sure that's off, tap on here and make sure that this is off. Now on will raise up 
or decrease the overall volume if you happen to be over or under 0 dB. Overload protection only will only bring it down if you're over 0 dB. But here's what I want to say. Don't use either of those because you want to get into the habit of making sure your mix isn't clipping. Don't just clip your mix and turn overload protection on. You'll still end up with some distortion and some artifacts in there. So turn that one off and it will mean that when you export your project, you will get the actual levels of what you've set here as opposed to having it auto normalize up or down to zero dB. There you have it, the basics of using your stereo out or your master track here in Logic Pro for iPad. It's definitely one of the coolest features of this digital audio workstation. If you'd like to learn a whole lot more about using Logic Pro for iPad to create, record and release your best music, check out all the videos down below. If you've got other questions, a lot of these videos are on the back of your questions. So drop those in the comments below and I will see you next time.